At the beginning of an environmental study, a forest covered an area of 1,500 kilometers squared. Since then, the area has decreased by 7.25% each year. Let T be the number of years since the start of the study. Let Y be the area that the forest covers in kilometers squared. Write an exponential function showing the relationship between Y and T. So what we're going to need to do here is use a form of compound interest because we see that we have a starting amount of 1,500 kilometers squared, but each year it decreases by 7.25%. That's not from the initial 1,500. What will happen is the first year it will decrease by 7.25%. And then that start of the next year will have a lower number, but that number will also decrease by 7.25. And the following year will have a, a different starting value, and that year it will also decrease by 7.25. And continue to do so according to however many years in, uh, in time. Um, so we will find, we'll use the, the compound interest formula, which looks like this. Amount is equal to our principal, our initial principal, or our starting point times one plus or minus the rate over the number of, t uh, number of times it's compounded, all raised to the number of times it's compounded and the, and the number of years. So all we need to do is change up the variables just a little bit. It says that it does want us to use t, so we'll go ahead and continue to use t, but it also it wants us to use y to be the area the forest covers, which is going to be the total amount. So we'll go ahead and change a to Y, and our initial amount is going to be our 1,500. So our 1,500 kilometers um, squared is going to be our initial amount. And then we would multiply that by one. We would use the, the negative sign because it's decreasing every year. So we're going to subtract out the amount that is decreasing, and that's 7.25%, which if we were to write 7.25%, in decimal form, we'd move the decimal two places back, it'd be 0 0.0725. So we would set, subtract out 0, or excuse me, 0 0.0725 is going to be divided by the number of times, or the number of years it's compounded, number of times per year, which is just one. Okay, so this 0 0.0725 over 1 is just going to be equal to 0 0.0725. And then it's raised to the number of times it's compounded, which is just going to be once a year, and then to the letter T. Okay, so these 1s are really obsolete at this point. We can just get rid of those. Anything over 1 is itself. Anything raised to the, the, to the first power is itself. 1 times T is going to be T. So it's going to look like this. Y is equal to 1,500 times 1 minus 0 0.0725, all raised to the t, which then simplified is going to be, in our final answer, y is equal to 1,500 times 1 minus 0 0.0725 is 0.9275, raised to the t. And there's our formula that we could find out how much the forest is covered each year, depending on what number of, of years we want, when it's decreasing at a rate of 7.25% each year.